Hi there, welcome back. Well, back at the hole again. Just walking down the flat now, so won't take long to get there. A couple of minutes. Anyway, as I was saying, I've actually got quite a few videos that need to be filmed uh, for the channel. There's a backlog of about 12 videos, and I'd like to apologise to those people who have requested them. I'm just not at the time to film them, unfortunately. Um, I'm contemplating whether to pause the requests at the moment, because uh, I had a new one requested a couple of days ago. Um, for a stagecoach route and it was it was in Fife I'm trying to think what one it was again I think it might have been the 35 but uh, there was also one requested yeah, about two weeks ago two, three weeks ago I get maybe one request every 10 days or every 12 days at the moment roughly and that that was a first Glasgow route I think it might have been the 61 I'm not entirely sure uh, all these routes will appear on the channel at some point it's just that this time of the this time of the year we don't get that many hours of daylight and I don't see the point in filming a bus route when it's like this because if I hold the camera up, it's pitch black. You know, I don't see the point in doing it like that. So as the, as the header on the channel says, these videos can be few and far between. You know, the long distance ones, like the longer videos. But I do still do them in the winter, just not as often as I would in the summer. In the summer, I could be doing several, several a day. I could be leaving the house at 6 a.m. Not getting home until 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. Doesn't bother me, you know. Sometimes I can be out three or four days in a row doing these videos. And I know that people out there love watching them because you guys love them. And I deeply appreciate that. I really do. I never thought this channel would get as far as it did. I launched it one day when I was in Dunfermline bus station and I've got another friend in Dundee actually who does this and I'm trying to persuade him to set up a YouTube channel myself and the Ad Nashard have become good mates he's one of the nicest lads I've ever met we're trying to get, we're trying to persuade our other fellow friend to set up a channel and I don't think he's I don't think he fancies it but I won't give up trying because YouTube YouTube can be a honey place I mean Adam and I were discussing this on the phone a few days ago and sometimes when you tip a video not to do well it does absolutely brilliantly when I mean, you think a video is going to do well it flops I mean I've had videos that have done that I uploaded one a few weeks ago I thought it was going to do alright a plane coming into land at Prestwick Airport I think I got about 10 views then I did a live one or was it a live one? no no, it wasn't. It was a US Army jet coming in to Presswick Airport. I thought that'll get maybe five, six views if I'm lucky. I checked it. 3,600 it's sitting on. And I thought, wow. That's, that's impressive. You know, I think, I think that's probably the most I've ever had. Incidentally, one of my other viewers emailed me a couple of days ago and they asked me, what is the longest video you've ever done, Galvanter? And I said, well, so far, the longest video on the channel is just under six hours long. It's 
from Inverness to Aberdeen on the 35. But nice to see I had a sore bottom after sitting on, on a bus for that length of time. When I got to Aberdeen, no thing that was on my mind was get a bite to eat and get on the city link and get home. Because I was worn out. And speaking of which, I've just arrived at my front door. So I'm going to say goodnight and I'll upload the videos from earlier on this morning in a short while. So take care and night night.